drop it. What's up, guys? Um, Sunday, about to head to the gym. I'm gonna stop and scoop up my cousin first. And uh, today is a chest and back workout, a lower volume day. So it's pretty much just half the uh, volume that I normally do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna scoop my cousin up and I got a cool little gift for him today. This fresh ass. Live Fit All Star hat, and um, yeah, I'm gonna hook him up with it. So he'll probably be pretty psyched. So I'll show you guys that too. And I'm gonna hit the road. So uh, check in with you guys in a bit. All right, peace. What up, dog? What up, man? Got a little. Uh, Gift for you. Whoa, I'm on the lift for crew. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. No problem. Got you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to New Bedford. <laughs> In the Nemo Abiyan. Alright, guys, so today's workout started with some overhead presses, and um, this was three sets. Uh, the reps of seven, five, and three with a tempo of four, zero, one, zero. And um, yeah, this is another low volume day. And then um, after this training session, it goes back to the normal volume. So it would be six total sets, um, seven, five, three, and seven, five, three. Cousin Nate, rocking his new Lift Fit hat and t shirt. And alternated with the overhead presses was close grip chin ups, and uh, this was reps of seven, five, and three for the tempo of four, zero, one, zero. All right, next movement was flat bench dumbbell presses with neutral grip. And this was two sets of five to seven reps. Again, with a tempo of four zero one zero. And just again, guys, tempo is um, the number four is the eccentric of the motion. So right here, coming down, slow for a second, zero second pause, and then a one second concentric, and that's that's to the top. So yeah, my cousin's really been putting on some size lately, and uh, yeah, he, he just wants to get lean. I mean, obviously he's he's building muscle and uh, he's losing fat at the same time because he's a newbie. But um, I mean, the scale hasn't gone down too much. It's still kind of staying around the same. But I definitely noticed the gains in in his chest and his back and and his arms. And um, you know, I've just been telling him, you know, be patient. You know. And you know the fat will come off, in which it is. You know he he doesn't really see it, but we took some progress pics the other day, and you know it really shows. And alternated with the dumbbell presses, we did some bent over rows, two sets of five to seven reps, with a tempo of three one one zero.
and the next movement was some external rotation with the elbow and knee and this was two sets of six to eight reps with a tempo of four zero one zero. And alternated with the external rotation was track three. And this was two sets of six to eight reps with a tempo of four zero one zero. And uh, yeah, sorry for the bad camera angle, but my cousin was off doing a different exercise and I just kind of set it up on the yeah, bench, but um, yeah, as you can see, it kind of cuts me off. But you guys have seen this exercise before. And then here's just some mess around flexing footage after the workout. As you can see, I'm staying lean which is my goal while putting on lean mass. Good old market basket. There's no more white sweet potatoes. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. At least you guys won't see the same meal that I make. <laughs> Post workout every day. Well, it's time to switch things up. Um, show you guys what I do and what I figure out. Six hundred and fifty grams of russet potatoes. All right, guys. So I'm back from the gym and putting together my first meal. The time is currently 1:30 p.m. And right here, I got 200 grams of broccoli, 100 grams of Brussels sprouts, eight ounces of lean beef, 650 grams of russet potatoes that I baked in the oven at 400 degrees and I have uh, Flavor God pizza seasoning on top and in this bowl I have 200 grams of Greek yogurt with that organic ranch um, dip flavoring so um, yeah I'll put the total macros for this meal on the screen and I'm definitely going to enjoy this and I'll check in with you guys in a bit Alright guys, just crushed that meal, super good. Now it's time for my subs. I got multivitamin, fish oil, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D. And here's just uh, my Snapchat from today. I figured I'd add it in there to show you guys what I kind of did throughout the day. Yeah, because I don't film, you know, everything for the YouTube channel but I figure this kind of switches it up and you know adds you know little things here and there could be funny could be I don't know so yeah this is all my snapchat Marisol flounders. I don't give a fuck, I like to eat a quarter pounder with cheese, mustard, ketchup, and lettuce and if you don't know the rest I forget it I like That's why he's got that. guys the time is currently 6 51 p.m. I'm about to have my next meal and right here I have 
banana bread. It's the same exact one that I made in the video the other day. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box again for those who haven't seen it. And then I have two servings of low-fat cottage cheese with 10 grams of cocoa powder that I'm going to put inside here. And inside here I have two servings of puffed wheat cereal and two servings of Reese's puff cereal. And then over here I have 150 grams of Greek yogurt and three servings of rolled gold pretzels, they're the honey wheat ones. I'll put the total macros for all this food on the screen and um, yeah, I'm definitely going to enjoy this and uh, check in with you guys in a bit. Oh, this stuff is so good. Especially with a little bit of Walden Farms. Oh yeah, so good. Sorry, I'm just having a little moment with my bread. Protein bread porn. It's amazing. So good. Definitely try it. Alright guys, here's the total macros for the day. This was the bread cottage cheese and cereal, um, pretzels and Greek yogurt, uh, my first meal of the day, and then my fish oil and uh, rice, and then here are the totals, 434 grams of carbs, 188 grams of protein, and 41 grams of fat. And um, yeah, so I'm still doing like a high day for my training days and then um, my rest days are lower days, uh, which are lower carb and higher fats. So that's why my fats were really low today, 40 grams. I usually go like 50, about 50 grams on uh, training days and then carbs are up around 425-ish and then protein. 180 grams and then the rest days are about anywhere from 100 to 150 grams of carbs proteins the same about 180 grams and then fats are um, about 100 grams and um, so that's what I've been doing and I'm going to continue to do it and you know track my progress see how it goes um, basically it's kind of like a, a recomp but um, yeah we'll just kind of see how it works out I've never really done this before but you guys will see and um, yeah I plan to stay lean while um, you know being on a surplus on my training day so I'm um, you know trying to increase my lean mass while staying lean keeping body fat to a minimum but yes I will gain some body fat in this process but trying to keep that as low as possible so um, yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and tomorrow tomorrow's a rest day so I'm not sure if I'll film but maybe um, uh, I don't know well, alright guys um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.